I'm Amy from Body Fit by Amy, and this is your 10 minute low impact hit workout. So just 10 minutes, just five moves that we're gonna go through twice, and it will be high intensity interval training, hit training to really get your heart pumping, but low impact moves. So easy on the joints, easy on the body, but high calorie burn. You don't need any equipment for this workout, just a little bit of space to move. Are you ready? Let's do it. Okay, so we're gonna start just getting moving, roll through those shoulders. We're not gonna do very much of a warm up. If you need it, get it on your own. We're gonna do five quick moves that we are going to do for 45 seconds of work, 15 seconds of rest, and then we'll repeat them again to get a quick 10 minutes. Gonna be super simple, work to your level. We're gonna keep it low impact, so quiet, easy on the joints, but high on the cardio. I'll give you some different options. Okay, so starting with just a little side squat knee. So join me when you're ready. So we're keeping it here. If you wanna make it even quieter or even more low impact, just do a little squat and knee. But if you can, step out, step in and bring it up. Try to touch the ground if you can. That's really just gonna get your legs working even harder, which is gonna increase that calorie burn. But again, we're keeping the impact low. So easy on the joints, quiet for your neighbors. And if you really bring those hands up and down, you'll get even a little more heart rate. You don't have to go as fast as me. You can take it a little slower if you need to. Breathe. Let's go five seconds. And up. Tap it out. So there you go. You can already feel that heart rate, right? So now we're just gonna do exactly the same thing on the other side. Step it out and down. Step it in a knee or just squat and knee. Starting now, here we go. In and knee. And again, hands high, pull that knee in and really pull that knee in to contract the core. Breathe. Down and knee. And breathe. There we go. And again, if you wanna take it even a little less, just a little squat, touch down, knee comes in and work to your level. If this is what this looks like for you and you're not going as far, that's okay. As long as you're moving, you can even do a little tap out and knee, that works too. You don't have to do a full squat. Down, knee, five seconds. And breathe, tap it out. So breathe. So we're gonna do a little step out, kind of like a modified jack, but we're gonna go high and high across the chest, low and low. I'm gonna give you lots of options starting here. Here we go. So just a little tap and reach across the chest, down to the ground. So you can keep it just this small, across the chest, reach it down, or take it a little quicker, reach a little more, and touch the ground. Reach, reach, across, across, down and down. You got it. Cross, down and down. We've got about 15 seconds. Work to your level. As long as you're moving, that's all that we care about. Last five, four, three, two, and tap it out. Pretty simple, right? So watch me here. I'm going to show you from the side. We're going to tap it back. Touch if you can. Bring the opposite knee in. So if you want, you can lunge it and touch down, get really low. If you want to keep it slow and a little higher, here we go. So you can just be here, tap back with right, in with the left. Or a little more, get low and high, low and high, or even more with a lunge, low to high. It's up to you. Any of those options will do. If you want a little more legs, you can really lunge it. If you need to keep it a little higher for your knees, you can just do tap and knee, tap and knee. We've got 15 seconds. Breathe. Work to your level. Keep breathing. And in. Three, two, and one. Tap it out. We'll do the same thing other side. So if it's that Left leg tapping back, tap it in, bring that knee up. You can touch it all the way down, you can lunge it if you want. It's up to you, work to your level. Here we go. 
tap, and knee, tap, and knee. So lowest impact is just here. Tap back with one, bring that knee in. A little more, you can get a little lower with it. A little more, take it with that lunge, and breathe. Maybe you're just getting back after having baby like me. She's a few months old now, but I'm still feeling it. I need this low impact cardio. This, I can't do high impact yet. I can't do jumping. That's okay. I can still get a workout, breathe five seconds, and then we are going to do it all again. Last one, breathe, tap it out. So those are your moves. It's really three moves, right? That you do right and left, then our tap outs with our arms, right and left. Catch your breath. We only got five minutes to go. All of those moves one more time. So step out, knee in. Step out, knee in. And again, if you just wanna tap and knee, that works and your knee doesn't have to come super high, totally up to you. If you want it a little lower, touch the ground to really make sure we get those legs. Really drop it down and knee. Or if you wanna keep it stationary, down, knee. That works too. 15 seconds, breathe, pull it in. Remember, get those hands up high, pull that core in to really get that core firing along with arms and legs. Three, two, one. Breathe for 15 seconds. Same thing, other side. So squat it down to that opposite side, pull that knee in, tuck that core in, catch your breath, work to your level starting right now. You can just tap it and knee, tap and knee, or really get down there with the squat. And again, if you want to keep it stationary, just squat, knee in, squat, knee in. Only one knee, and that's intentional so we get our brains working as well, moving one side to the other and then really isolating the core. Breathe, 15 seconds, and we'll go to those tap outs. Give our legs and our knees a little break. Five to go, right here. Four, three, two, you can get one more. Good, tap it out and breathe. Now we go with those tap outs. So remember we're going over the head for two, across the front of the body at the chest, down low. You can keep it as small as you want, you can really touch the ground and reach. Here we go. Reach and tap across the chest, low, low. Reach, reach, chest, chest, floor, floor. If you wanna take it up, really reach for it and touch the ground. So notice I'm just doing little light taps. I'm not jumping or running, but if this is what this looks like for you, totally fine. If you're moving, you're working. If you showed up today, you're successful. That's all you have to remember. Just keep moving, just keep showing up. It doesn't matter what you look like. I want you to be safe and have good form, but just get the heart pumping, get those muscles moving, tap it out, breathe. Sometimes we get so focused on doing a certain amount or a certain exercise Really, it's just about getting our body moving, getting the blood flowing. All right, are we ready? Tap it back right, left knee in. Tap, start slow. You can be right here if you want to, or a little lower. A little lower, touch the ground, or lunge, and up. If that bothers your knees, just keep it with a tap. Lunge, and up, and breathe. Totally fine. You just be where you are today. Don't worry about me. Don't worry about anybody else. You do this for a bit, you come back to it. Woo, watch your balance, use that core. You're gonna feel better the next time you come back to this workout. And remember, it's only 10 minutes and we are so close. Breathe, five seconds, down low. Bring that knee in, three, two, one, whoo. All right, team, one more to go is all we need. So other side, tap it back, tap it in, bring that knee in tight. You got 45 seconds and then we are done with this workout. Here we go, tap, 
tap and knee, tap back and knee. So we did some things to the side, some things across our body, some things to the back, trying to work all different planes of motion. That's good for our joints. Remember, lunge it if you want a little more legs or a little higher muscle contraction. Or keep it here, just tap me in. Tap me in. 15 seconds before this workout is done. Breathe, breathe. Last four, three, two, one more right here, finish strong. And relax, tap it out. Roll through your shoulders. You did it, team. Just a quick little roll. I don't know about you, my heart is pumping. And yes, I just had a baby a few months ago, so my endurance is not great, but I'm getting there. Big deep breath in. If you want a little longer version of a workout like this, check out my longer, I believe it's 25 minutes, low impact hit. And then I have a whole playlist of little taps, beginner and low impact workouts. They might say beginner, but it's really for anybody who just needs a little less impact, but you still want it to be effective. You still want to get results. So don't be fooled by the word beginner. If you are a beginner, it's going to be great for you. If you're not, and you just need a little stress on the little less stress on the joints, you're going to find ways to work hard as well. Big deep breath in right here and out. Don't forget to subscribe if you like what you see. That helps me keep making videos for you. That was your 10 minute low impact cardio hit workout. Great job, everybody.